Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp Blessing where I stamp to cheer the brokenhearted and connect all my friends to Jesus. That is my passion. That is why I go live every Monday to bring new ideas and also to get you unstuck, okay? So if you've been on a rut just trying to craft and nothing is coming out, then today is a good day. <laughs> you get to craft with me, yay! We get to encourage each other in the Lord and know that there is a purpose and reason for the gifts that have been placed in your hands. So I'm going to turn my camera around and we are going to start stamping with our beautiful Paper Pumpkin Memorable Meadows. That is this month's kit. If you do not have this kit, don't worry. There's always fresh and new ideas that you can grasp from this time of togetherness, a fellowship of connecting with each other and encouraging each other. So if you are here, please leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. I usually go live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time at the end of April. Most likely after that, I won't be able to go to and both places at the same time. So I need to find a way of just bringing everybody that is usually on Facebook over to YouTube to watch my lives in the afternoon every Monday. So if you are not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe. It is a joy to have you here. As I said, let's turn my camera. At the end, I have a message for you, so don't leave. <laughs> God is good. Okay, so we are ready to rock and roll and we have a new one right here. You saw it last week is the Memorable Meadows by Stamping Up. It is a paper pumpkin kit and we created three cards last week. I sort of made them my own as you can tell. I made um, this card like this. So I actually stamped two of the flowers and fussy cut them and put them like that. That was one of my alternates if you want to call them that way then we have the one with the um, let me see this one with the tree that is the wooden tree but i decided to put a paper piece flower instead so i took our stamp i stamp it on some of the pretty pretty paper that we have that coordinates which is the um is it the garden meadows is the mandarin meadows um online exclusive so I stamp on that and then I put it together and it looked really cute. I really, really like it. Love that little flower that came with this set. Beautiful. Then we have this card, which was the last one I made. And it was pretty much, I pretty much did the same thing. You see, pretty much follow what they did. The only thing I did different is I added some gold um, twine to it. And then I put my little embellishments. And honestly, I think it's great. Then we put the, we tried how this worked and I made my flower and color it, not color it. It actually, it's super easy because you can color it with a stamp set that came with it. I have one more of this kits available. I, I actually contacted one of the ladies that, um, on Facebook that told me that was interested, but she did not reply back to me. So I still have one of the memorable meadows. If you're interested, please send me a message at stampablessing at gmail.com. Okay, have only one of those. So these are the cards that I created last week. I am very, very thankful. I have my ladies, where is my paper? I think I left it somewhere over here. Yes, I did. I have some of my ladies who are part of my paper pumpkin. Thank you to Debbie to who else? I have Glenda Holcomb, I have Kathy Rowland, Lisa Anderson, Margarita Krupe, Maria Rosario, and Yvette Basket. Thank you for being my subscribers for this month. And I am going to be creating some cards for you today. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> I love bringing ideas. And last month I sent all my subscribers one of these ones as a happy Easter card. And it was really nicely done with some stamping blends. So that was my thank you card for them. I enjoyed making these for them. You can see it right there. Today I'm going to create other ones. I've done other cards in the past as well. I have several, but I'm not going to show all of them to you. Okay, so here I am. I need my note cards. So I have note cards. I thought I put everything together over here. Now I don't see it. Jessica, come on. You had everything under control right before. Oh, they're right in front of me. <laughs> I am so organized today. This is so cool. <laughs> I had everything right here in front of me. Okay, so we have the basic note cards. I'm going to open one of these because apparently I left the other ones somewhere else and not available okay so these come with 20 envelopes and 23 and a half by five um note cards they're already embossed for you which i like very much they're not embossed they are scored 
so they come scored in the middle. I like putting the corners together like this, just finding the corners very well. And then I like bringing my bone folder and making that line right there on the center because they're already scored but i want when i put them together i want them to close nicely so you have many of these and then they come with envelopes that are the same for this size of three and a half by five so it's a very cute size to work with oh my goodness okay and the first step i will do today is i'm gonna be adding a little bit of dyes a little bit of paper and a little bit of embossing okay we are having many changes coming to the company tomorrow is one of those days it's a big big day and stamping up because the last chance discounts are coming out into the store and many of the things that are retiring which is a lot retiring from the annual catalog or from the mini catalog are also going to be there while supplies last so check that out don't miss going to my store and checking it because things start disappearing really fast so i'm going to bring my stamping emboss and cut or cut and emboss and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put my multi purpose platform number one my number two then I'm going to add one of my clear ones which is actually a number three as you see here I'm trying to put it in a way that you can see it, it says three in there and now I'm gonna have my card okay and I'm gonna bring one of the retiring um embossing folders that I think goes so well with this particular kit it's called the painted posies 3d embossing folder now now that I'm talking with you I don't need this I don't need this <laughs> I need no I'm not using that yet I am cutting first yes I was right I am cutting first so sorry no painted poses yet I brought the everyday details um die and I'll show you which one that is I think I have it around here is the one in the mini catalog and I don't believe this is retiring it will be going into an online exclusive but it's the one that has several circles and several rectangles and that also makes those cute little dots around your rectangles let me show you an example of it right here you see it kind of looks like that they look amazing i really like this ones are my my favorites right now and this is one that i have not used much so i decided to give it a try okay and the way we will use it is this card i plan to use it like this like horizontal instead of portrait we're going to use it horizontally so i'm going to take this and i'm going to put it like this right there so I'm going to use this side because apparently my nails messed up one of the... I did my nails. They look pretty and dark and then they scrape my... <laughs> with color my thing. So let's see. I'm going to put this right here at the toppy top. I don't want it to come out of my... Out of my... Um, platform right so i'm gonna just put it in there i have some tape and then i'm gonna use my other ones you can tell i've been playing with the everyday details dies because all the little dots are everywhere <laughs> that's not nice <laughs> but it's okay okay do i have that straight i think it's pretty straight so i'm gonna go through it there you go okay so we cut that nicely Okay, I'm not going to put my stamping and boss and cut out yet, but I'm excited that I'm making this one. So I have to make a few for my ladies and we are meeting not this Thursday, but the next as always on the second Thursday of the month. We meet on Zoom to be making some of our to finish our kits. Actually, that's my always my goal is, hey, let's finish our kits. So I'm going to take all those little dots out as much as I can with my brush. You see many of them are coming out. I used to kind of go like this. Oh, that worked perfectly. Look at that. So nice. Okay, so now I have my, this one right here. And now we're going to cut. So I'll move this aside. And again, I said cut. Now we're going to emboss. <laughs> I'm going ahead of myself. Okay, here you are. We're trying to connect and see who's there. Yay, I see Jetty. Jerry King, did I said that right, Jerry? I hope I did. Thank you for being here. I see it's the first time that you joined me live. That is awesome. I see Carrie. Hi, Carrie. I see Rita is here. Hello, my Rita. So happy to see you, Maria Taberman. Woohoo! From Finland. Thank you so much. I have some friends over on Facebook that said Que bellos. That's in Spanish. So who is that? And then hello from New Jersey. Hello, hello, whoever who is watching me. I'm not able to see from Facebook exactly your name. I only see Facebook user. That's why most likely I'm going to stay with my with my YouTube. Okay, so I'm going to take my painted poses through the embossing folder. And usually the one that has the stamping up 
and the line is the one that you want looking up, okay? Because this is going to emboss your card base. So I'm gonna put it right at the edge, like that. Yep, I want it right at the edge. I'm doing it. And then I'm gonna put it this way because it actually works. And I need to take all these plates because all you need for a 3D is your number one and your number four. So it's way easier, okay? So I'm gonna put this here and this in here, put it in and it will go through like a good sandwich, very smoothly. So good to see you, or hello, Penny, good to see you as well. Yay, for PA! <laughs> you are from Pennsylvania like me. Awesome. Okay, so I have my beautiful flowers already embossed. Look how cool that looks. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And I think it goes so nice with the flowers that we are dealing with in our current paper pumpkin kit. So that is really nice. Okay, so I know that I need to leave all this out because I have to make several, but I'm going to show you the idea. And then you can continue working with yours if this is something that you're interested in doing at home. Okay, so I have first my card. Now I'm going to choose... Oh, Jessica, you still needed the stamping cut and embossed. And she put it all away already. But let's go ahead and find some papers that are going to work with this. And I have, as I said, the Mandarin Meadows that coordinate with this kit. You see that the, the scenery is so beautiful. Look at that. You see it's very, very similar to what we were doing. Oh, I think I'm going to use this one. Look, that is so cute. Yeah, I think this one is this one. I should use that one. And we have this one's in here. So the papers are available. They have been available for a while already. But I have some different ones in here. Yeah, they've been available for a while already. I really like this. I want to have one that has um, like a, a, a light color in the background. Oh, that's so cute. Have mercy. I love it. All of them are beautiful. I'm going to just keep things simple right now. And I'm going to use the first one. So I'll use that first. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. And I think I'm going to keep one of these available. Let me see. Actually, no. I think I'm going to use... Oh, this is nice. Okay. I want to use that one. Okay. So I'm just choosing without much care. I'm trying to just enjoy the process like I want you to do as well. Okay. So I'll put these cards on this side. And what I plan to do first of all is I'm going to cut one of these nice labels again you can use any of the labels that you have but i'm enjoying my everyday details dies and i want to use them as much as i can so i'm going to bring this again if you don't have a die cutting machine you can use punches as well or just cut 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 with your cutter whatever you have available okay don't let anything stop you so i'm going to put this one right here and i'm going to make another one in this color let me see so I want to use those flowers later on. So I'm planning on using the top of this right here. Okay, because I want to use that flower. Doo -doo -doo. Here you go. God is good. They're beautiful. Love those dice too. Yeah, they're amazing. I want this die set. My next order. There you go. <laughs> I really like those these dice too. I'm loving them and I'm trying to incorporate them more in my cards because you need to use what you purchase you need to use what you have look how beautiful that looks i noticed that these dies cut so so well even better with the center series paper than anything like i love them i love how they cut the center series paper all those little holes go fast so i like that too okay so i have that one i'm gonna put this down here otherwise i won't have space on my table or at least right here where you can see so we have our little piece right here i'm gonna bring my Oh, look, I was looking for this note card. <laughs> when I started, I was like, where's the note, note card? I, I did this right. Okay, so we have our little um, label right here from Everyday Details Dice. And I'm going to bring Pretty Peacock. I know you got Garden Green, but this is for my subscribers. And I can just go wild. I can use whatever I want. So I'm going to use this one. And I have Heartfelt Fangs. So I'm going to go ahead. And this is the stamp set that came with our kit. This kit actually came with two stamp sets, which is really, really neat. And I'm gonna come here and stamp on this side, right there. I like using my cushion at the bottom because these are photopolymer stamp sets. That mean that they're kind of plasticky and very thin. They don't have the usual rubber stamp 
rubber that gives it that squeeze okay when you're stamping so that is the reason why actually let me leave this here because i'm gonna bring this paper again and remember what we did last week that we took the flower and we did some paper piecing i'm gonna do something very similar this time so i'm just gonna stamp right on top of my other flowers or any colorful paper that you have okay feel free to use the idea now if you don't have this flower um, you have two options. Either you get this kit, which I only have one available, but you get this kit or you find a flower that has a linear image like this. This is um, an image that it, it just the lines, right? That you can fill in. That This is the perfect stamp set to do this type of technique that we also did last week on our video. Okay, and now I'm gonna come around here and I'm gonna cut this flower because that's the idea. This is gonna be sort of like my my thing my thing it's gonna be my thing okay let me see if i can i cannot use that one i'm gonna bring this in and you see how we have this beautiful beautiful design in here i want to take this and just cut about three fourths is that what i did mm, i don't remember <laughs> i think i did like a fourth or something i'll just do Let's see, I'm one, I'm going to do three-fourths because it looks so cute. So I'm going to cut three-fourths of this and I'm going to cut it by five. And you'll see what I'm doing here in a second. I'm going to cut it by five. You don't even know why I'm cutting this, but I will show you. And then I need to bring some of my, um, where are you? Here you are. Some of this, let's see if I have enough. Yep. So I'm going to cut this. This is Flirty Flamingo, no, this is Fresh Freesia. Fresh Freesia at three, at five by three and a half. So five by three and a half, okay? And that is exactly the same size of the front and the inside of our, of our note card, okay? So I have this here and I'm planning on adding this down here in just a minute. Actually, I can do it right now. I am creating the outside and the inside of my card right away, and I've never done this before, so I was really excited with, hmm, I can do that, I like it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of color here to the inside of my card, okay? It's gonna look real cute, you'll see. So there, we have this, we have this, now I'm gonna do something that you may not feel is important, but to me it is. I have the note card already embossed, so I have a good amount of dimension in this card, and I don't want this designer's this paper to feel too flimsy, to feel like it has nothing to hold on to. So I'm going to be gluing it to another sheet of this same um, die that I already die cut, okay, but in white. I'm just gonna put it right on top, nothing too special. I have a little little hole in here that is not out, so I'm gonna take it out. There you go. And it will give it a little bit more stability, okay? <laughs> more stability to my, to my particular um, sentiment that will go there. Now let me bring this. I'm gonna be cutting a few of these for my subscribers, but I'm very thankful. I don't take you for granted. I love meeting with you. Many of my team also meet with me on the second Thursday. And honestly, that is like the best time of my stamping up journey right now is when I meet with my scrapbooking club or when I meet with my paper pumpkin ladies or when I meet with my team. Those are my three consecutive meetings. I have four meetings on Zoom every month. I have two for scrapbooking one for exploration, which we explore techniques. I love, I love it. Maria, thank you so much. I have Susie as well helping me there. And then I have another meeting just to bring the theme and the sketches and craft together um, on the fourth, is it the third Saturday of the month and the fourth Thursday of the month. Those are my scrapbook meetings for those who love doing scrapbooking and wish to have a community of Christian scrapbookers that just bring meaning to your pages. That's what we're doing. Okay, I enjoy doing that. I, our, our theme for this particular year is testimony. So I'm really excited about that. In our pages, we're looking for ways to give thanks, looking for ways to give God glory for all the goodness, looking at the goodness, looking at his faithfulness, and sometimes telling our story, sometimes telling the story of others, but seeing the goodness of God in everything that we are doing. 
That for me is a big deal right now. I think, you know, we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And I bring testimony everywhere I go, even in my scrapbook pages. I love telling of what God is doing in my life or around me. So that is really cool. I love that. And then I meet the second Thursday of each month with my paper pumpkin gals. Um, at night, we start at seven and finish at nine. And we just use whichever of our paper pumpkins that is inspiring us. And the goal is to finish them and inspire each other. And then we have, um, I have the first Saturday of the month, my team meeting. So those are my four main Zoom meetings every single month that keep me going. Plus I do lives on Monday. So I apologize if at times I'm extremely busy and I don't even know what I'm doing, but this is my life with stamping up and everything I'm doing. Okay. So I have one more sentiment that I want to add in here. So I will do that right away. I'm going to put the you've been on my mind that also came with this skin and I'll put it right here right there on top of my fresh fresh yeah i've never done this with my note cards so i'm actually very excited that i am doing this now i want to put a flower but i don't want to put the flower um entirely on top of this so i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna stamp on top of my little piece so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna cover it right there okay and i'm going to stamp this flower uh -oh right here, right there, beautiful. And then I'm gonna take this off and I just see the top of the flower. I did not want anything at the bottom. That's the way I like it. So I'm gonna use this. Now, we're almost done with this card. I'm really excited to show it to you. So I'm gonna put some glue and uh, to the inside. First time I do this with a note card, I'm loving them already. I always like creating little note cards inspired by the kit so i'm gonna put this right here on the inside and the coolest part is that when you actually do this and you close it you will have a little hint of what is on the inside so i like that i like that you have a little hint let me show you you see you have a little hint at the bottom of the fresh frisia isn't that nice and then you can also see it through the holes up here so it adds a bit of color to your card that is kind of excluded on the inside so when you open it, it says you've been on my mind and when you close it you have all that beautiful embossing on the outside now we have this heartfelt things that is going to go here and we have our flowers somewhere to be found <laughs> okay this is my little flower i'm going to put it right here behind it and this is my big flower it's going to go right here so for that i'm going to bring some glue and i'm also i don't want to put a lot, a lot, a lot of um, more dimension on this or dimension, however you say that, because this is going to go in a note card and I don't want this to be extremely bulky, okay? The note card envelopes are a bit on the tight zone. You'll see it in a second. So I'm gonna put a good amount of glue if it comes out, there you go, here. And let me see, cause I have to put also my other flower in there. So I'm gonna put this right here on this side. I only put the dimensional on the flower, okay? And I'm gonna make sure I have a little bit of glue under this one. And this one is gonna go right here at the bottom. Or under, I should say, not at the bottom, it's at the top of my label, but there you go. So I'm gonna hold that there for a sec. This is going fast, I love it. <laughs> This is so nice. <laughs> okay, so I have my little note card ready. Look at that. And it's a little bit off, I think. Let me see if I did that right. Let's see. Yeah, no. Yeah, I think it's right. I think it's, it's straight. Is that the heartfelt things is kind of like a, a, a little bit of a cursive type of lettering, but it is nice. Look how that looks. Isn't that cute? I love it. I'm so excited. And then you can put some color on the inside, which I never thought about, but I really like the, the punch of just opening the card and finding some color instead of white on the inside. So that is my little card right now. And I have my little envelope, which I want to make it coordinate a little bit. And in order to do that, I'm going to take my Pretty Peacock. And you know, you may think, oh, why is Jessica using Pretty Peacock? It's honestly, it's because it's one of my favorite colors. That's the only reason. And if it goes with the paper I'm using, I'm like, I'm in. It's in. I'm in. 
<laughs> and I'm using it because I like it. I like how it looks. I like how elegant it makes everything feel, even if it's by itself. Look at that. Just by itself looks amazing. I love that. So if you want to leave your note card envelope just like that, it's fine. I'm going to show you how it looks with a little bit of Fresh Frisia, which is a beautiful color in this particular kit. There you go. I'm going to just take that and let's see. I put this right there. Okay, looks good. I see Joanna is here. It's going in another card, did you say? What is going in another card? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Love it. I see. Thank you so much for being here. Philomena, I see you. Hilda is here. Thank you for being here, my Susie. I see Penny. I see... Uh, Oh, I missed somebody. Nope, I didn't. Susie, you're here. Joetta, Maria, Bria Taberman, Philomena, thank you for being here today. Okay. Yeah, Pretty Peacock is, is, is just like, wow. I was so happy when they brought it back. I'm like, yes, love it. So exciting. So this is how your flower looks. And it gives a very cute, a cute, cute. And look, even when I take my... Even if I added that tiny, tiny thing at the bottom, I have to test it because I was like, what if I'm putting it in and it doesn't work? Well, it worked. I just have to make sure that everything goes in the right position. You see, I have a dimension also kind of things, but look, it goes so nice together. I close it and there I have my little thank you cards. And I love that I was able to use my die. It is so much fun just to see through. I love that. Look, let me put it closer so you can see it. Isn't that so nice? Yay! <laughs> Joette, I think the color piece is going into the white card. Yes, it is. It is inside the white card. There it is. Yay! So I'm excited. I made this one and I made another one very, very similar to it. I was just playing with it and I thought I can make some cards for my subscribers and inspire them to use what they have in different ways. And I actually love using the stamp sets from Paper Pumpkin to make other cards, not because the paper pumpkin kit ends, right? Unless you keep getting refills and refills because you love the card, usually you're done with your kit and you kind of forget about the stamp sets. And I want to give you ideas on how to use the stamp sets in different ways. So this is one for you and it is exciting. And I'm going to keep this video today short. I'm going to call it a mini Monday like it's supposed to be. It's supposed just to give you a little bit of ideas. It's supposed to bless you. It's supposed to encourage you to just get your things out and get moving. Get, continue doing what you were called to do. Thank you for everybody that is here. I'm going to turn my camera. I want to bring a word of encouragement for this Monday and for the entire week. Okay, if you like this card, let me know below. I would love to hear from you. I'm going to come over here. And take my journal. This is such a good, good time. I was meditating in the Word this morning, and this particular verse called me, called my attention, right? I kept just going and going and asking the Lord, what should I do? What am I doing? Am I doing things great? Am I doing things so-so, you know? And this verse, since we have these promises, dear friends, I love when the Bible calls me a friend. 2 Corinthians 7, 1 says, since we have these promises, dear friends, let us purify ourselves from everything that contaminates body and spirit, perfecting holiness out of reverence for God. And I thought to myself, God sometimes makes things so easy and we make them so complicated. Like we ask, what should I be doing? I'm doing the right thing, this and that. And it was brought to my attention again. The Bible says in Psalm 37 that we are to trust him. And last week I started speaking about Psalm 37 as well. And I've been stuck in Psalm 37 because it says, do not fret. And we have many reasons to fret, right? But I want to remind you what it says. 37 Three says, trust in the Lord and do good. Get that word right there. Do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. And when I started reading this, I, I just heard the voice of the Holy Spirit say, just do good. Just do what you do good. Just do it. And even if you don't feel it's so amazingly good, keep doing what you are doing. If you go to church and worship, keep worshiping. If you're reading your Bible in the morning, keep reading your Bible in the morning. If you do your bed, do your bed again. Go through some of the motions that will get you closer to the Lord because you keep trusting Him 
and while he's working in some things, you're just doing what is good. You're doing what he called you at this time to do. So I need to encourage you to do to today to continue simply to continue. And I wrote it to myself. So I'm encouraging you because Holy Spirit was encouraging me and now we can encourage each other, okay? I love that it's continue worshiping, continue cheering others up, continue creating, continue canceling your children, continue being patient in affliction, continue trying. You know what? The Lord sees you. And there is a reward for those who seek him. I love that God is a rewarder of those who seek him because I want my rewards. <laughs> One of my prizes. I want to win in the kingdom of God. But most importantly, I want to see the kingdom of God established in my life and in those who listen to me as well. So my prayer today is that God establishes his kingdom and his ways and his peace and his mercy and his justice in your life as you patiently trust him, even in afflictions, even in stress, even in times that you don't know what to do. I'm going to tell you clearly what Holy Spirit said to me this morning. And I was like, Oh, thank you. It was so good. It, it really, it's going to stay with me this week. He said, you are not the full package. I am. We are always trying to have it all together. We want to be the full package. Well, I want to tell you something. You don't have to be. And I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that you don't have to be the full package. You can just be you. Trust in the Lord and do good. So whatever he called you to do, continue Continue doing it for His glory and establish His kingdom in everything you do. Thank you for being here, my ladies. It is a joy to bring ideas. I hope you come back next Monday. You leave me some love below and you share this with somebody that maybe needs these words of cheering up for this week. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.